I'll just normally ask them, see, hey, guys, guys, how's it, how's it? It's Craig here. Uh, just let me know if you guys can hear me. How's it, everyone? Let's wait for some question answers to come up there and see if the guys can hear us properly to make sure right. everything's working. Uh, I see the live stream started on my side, so it must start on everybody yeah. else's side. Hello, Mr. Milk Eju's company. Hello. Check. <laughs> Ian, aren't you supposed to be working? Yeah, Ian, go back to the lab, bro. Move, yeah, move, move. move. <laughs> lazy bastard. How's it, guys? Um, yeah. Back, sorry about last week and excuse me if I do but I have a bit of coughing I'm still busy fighting this uh, this uh, this flu which does not want to seem to go at all so if you hear me go <coughs> I'll just that's yeah it's me me coughing out of lung yeah uh, worst flu I've had since I stopped smoking and it's over eight years ago so it's yeah it's a it's not a lack of one not a lack of one at all but we've got Mr. Hardwick's in the house Joel um, how's it and uh, we'll be having a bit of a chat with him tonight and uh, what's he's up, what he's up to, what he's about. Um, yeah, uh, I think Joel can see the questions. So if you've got questions for him, just put his name ahead of it um, and then say so he can. Um, I have yeah. disabled the caps. So if you, my Mr. Nightbot's not going to bomb out uh, any cap letters. So just put Joel in front or at Joel. Uh, it's um, on the. On the chat, it's method one, so you yeah. can just tag me at uh, method one. Yeah, so method one, and then yeah. you'll be able to to check what questions that you've you've uh, um, you've got for him. Um, but okay, so tonight, obviously, we've we reached a thousand mark on subscribers. Thank you very, 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 very much uh, for subscribing. Um, we seem to be moving in the right direction, and what I'm trying to achieve with this uh, is, is obviously working working well. Um, Obviously, tonight we have got, I said to you guys, we'll give away a lacquer prize. So, we, I've got a Minikin Reborn uh, that I'm going to be giving away tonight to one lucky viewer. I'll talk about this late, later, but I've got an unreleased juice from us that I'm going to be giving away. And then I think Joel has said that he's going to give some stuff away, but I'll let him tell you what he's going to give away. Yeah, cool. I'm going to chuck in some of the treats. Uh, well, the whole treats range. 100%. Thank you very, right. very much, sir. Cool. Uh, let me just check. So, how's it to some people that are... Uh, yeah, so, that's a problem with this. I can't do that. Do 15 million things at once. Uh, let me just move this chat here so I can scream up and down. Ah, Mr. Fisher's in the house. Ian's here. Charles here. Brandon. I don't know how to pronounce your name. But, yeah, how's it, how's it? Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, those that have been watching the shows on a regular basis, uh, we use a Nightbot giveaway thing, uh, which uh, uh, is a random draw. The key word that you've got to use somewhere tonight in your in your um, um, communication, your lettering, your freaking your messages, your questions, or whatever, is hard wicks. So it's H A R D W I C K S. So if you haven't typed Hardwick's, you're not eligible for the prize. So yeah, you're just typing Hardwick somewhere. And during the course of the evening, I will do a random draw and we will be giving away the Minikin Reborn, a 100ml bottle of an unreleased juice, which I'll just talk about Nana. And then um, Joel is quite uh, um, been lucky and he's, he's giving away some of his juices as well. So thank you very much. Thanks there. Okay, but let's get to what's coming to the shop first, and then we can speak uh, speak to to Joel and ask him a couple of questions. So, um, well, everybody knows I'm bonkers for squonkers, and we've had a whole lot of new squonkers and some more arriving shortly. But the first one, I'm just going to let this camera zoom in on this quickly. The first one is the which I have done a small video on is the RSQ. Um, this is a joint venture with Rig Mods and um, Hot Sig. Um, you can see I've got the, the, what would you call this, the red anodized aluminum, water, water, water. I don't know what to quite, what, what, what to quite call it. Um, I've been playing with it now non-stop for the, since we've got it. Um, and yeah, I'm still blown away by it. Um, the, I was always using it as a regulated squonk. I was using my inbox. My, you can see my inbox doesn't even have a have an RDA on top. All I've been using is this. The battery life on it, I have to say, is phenomenal. I'm getting at 45 watts. I'm getting a full day on a battery, which, yeah, uh, which is quite uh, 
quite strange for a, a dead wattage on a single battery. Um, the only, there's two downfalls that I've found, which obviously I didn't say in my original video. One is this bloody magnet on the door, okay? This door, the magnet by the, um, where you squonk, this magnet for some reason, and it has on other people, it's come loose. But uh, 3M, 3M double-sided, what's that bloody stuff called? Um, double-sided tape, but the thin one, it's like, it's like a seller tape. A little piece of that and it sorts the problem out. The other thing is that if you change the battery, your lights, these bloody flashing LED lights, uh, you've got to switch them off again. It's not a function that stays off permanently. So yeah, um, uh, otherwise I'm like a pig in shit. Absolutely amazing, amazing little squonk of this. Um, so yeah, that's just some more feedback on this. Um, yeah, loving it to death, loving it to death. I think we almost sold out. But uh, Hugo did say that he was getting some more. But I'm sure the other vendors will jump on the bandwagon soon and get some. Let's just check and see if there's any questions here quickly. Before I get into the next one. I don't know if Joel saw any for him. But yeah. I, just, I haven't I seen anything. See, just see hard works, hard works, hard works. Everybody wants to win the prize. And Rob says I need to cut one of my hairs. One other than that. that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see we, we got a local guy in our shop, he's like, um, Ashley, he's, he's one of these, um, I don't know how the right way to pronounce it, he's got black, he's got black uh, um, uh, nail varnish on and he's got these big loops in his ears, but he had this mullet hairstyle with, and he was bald on the top, so the, the guys got, the Durban guys got a hold of him and gave him a full friggin' chrome dam, so yeah. Um, uh, no, no one can play with my beard. The Jugger review I'll do tomorrow in the shop. Okay. Then the other thing that arrived was the Capo Squonker. Okay. Um, which is a, a beginner's, beginner's device. Okay, in my opinion. Okay. Although advanced people can use it, it's still a beginner's device. It's a 0 to 100 watt device i'll go through some of the the uh it it nice thing with this it can take a 2700 battery or a 18650 it's got that ijoy blue thing that extends your battery which is lacquer okay um we've only currently got it in black okay comes with two bottles uh comes with this rda i don't even know what it's called oh, where where did i put it oh shit it is there there i don't know what they call it a triangle i think they're calling this the iJoy Triangle, I think that's what they're calling this this RDA, okay? I'm just zooming up on it there, you can see it. So far, impressed with the device, um, but there's two little downfalls on it. Um, um, uh, the first one is that it's not a true 100 watt device. Um, I've messed around with a whole variety of different coils in there, and eventually I settled on a, on a 0.2 ohm build in here. Uh, just normal straightforward flat wire. I tried aliens and some fused captains and stuff and I just didn't enjoy it. Um, uh, it but it's not a 100 watt device. So if you're somebody who vapes between 40 and let's say 60 watts on a regular basis, ideal little device for you. Ideal battery life is for days. I don't know if you can, let me zoom in on the screen there. That I've been using for two days. And I've still got half the amount of power in. Okay. Um, that was the first little one and the second second thing is the actual RDA uh, for me it just doesn't have enough air um, but overall apart from that easy to easy to work it's got a massive nine milliliter um, uh, juice bottle okay it is a it is a intermediate type of bottle from a from a from a, a, a softness perspective um, those who like the super softs won't like this bottle but I like the harder bottles and it squonks very nicely, operates very nicely. Um, the, probably another downfall is it doesn't have any temperature control or any of those sensors and stuff like that, um, which yeah, some people might like. Um, it's just a very straightforward basic menu. But at the price point to get into squonking, yeah, an ideal little device to start off. But don't expect 100 watts. Uh, you'll probably your maximum wattage output here would be about 75 watts. Um, you know, they should never have advertised this as at 100 watts. It's nowhere near gives 100 watts. 
and you've got it build appropriately. But other apart from that, can't 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 uh, fault the device. Absolutely awesome little device. Do you squonk, Mr. Hardwick? I I gave up. I'm an ex squonker. Why? Just didn't really work for me. I've tried. I tried a whole bunch of devices. I tried. I, I don't know. I just recently sold them all off. I got one left. Um, just in case I ever decide to go back, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. Is it, this, that, is it the convenience this, of, of, of uh, I could not be using an RDA though? Yeah, that's my standard, this, this is basically the setup that I keep coming back to no matter what else. I try Hexom with the, the old Petri V2, I just haven't found anything that I prefer to this particular setup, so and I've tried everything, I've tried I just sold Entheons and I've sold Paddleys and, and you know like all the the, the, the high end stuff. I don't know. I just I just never clicked with it. I guess. Sure. Um, That's strange. So, yeah. that, strange. Like, oh, it was, they would have expected if you're not using a Squonker <laughs> that you'd be using a an RTA or an RDTA, but you're using a, using a, an RDA. Yeah, sure. Look, I don't run around a lot. Um, I work in a studio. Like my home office is a studio, so it's not like. I really need the convenience of squonking. It's easy for me to just drip. Um, yeah, I mean, I might look at it again if I found the right device or something, but I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I've tried. It yeah. just doesn't I, really yeah, I suppose work. It's not, it's not in for everybody. I think Rob, yeah. Rob, Rob is not too, uh, he doesn't, he used to obviously with these Rios, but I don't think he yeah. even uses these Rios anymore, but Rob can answer that question there when anyway. Okay. Um, just uh, before I start asking Mr. Hardwick some questions, oh, yeah, yeah, that was the other thing that somebody wants to do. Okay, I've had a lot of people ask me, I haven't done the videos because I just don't have the time. Obviously, we've got uh, Black Friday coming up, which we can discuss a little bit later, and we've got Cyber Monday, and we've got our birthday coming up, and a whole lot of other things. So I haven't had a lot of time to do to do reviews, etc. But uh, I've got them here with me, so I thought, let me just give you my opinion on them quickly. They are the two devices that I'm talking about. Wait, you can't see that there. One is the Drop, okay, RDA, okay, and the other one is the Dead Rabbit, because they're very. The decks are very similar between these two these two devices. And a couple of guys have asked me which is better, which is not better, etc. Okay, um, uh, they two two total different types of of uh, vapors. Um, somebody who likes a restrictive draw by Dead Rabbit. Somebody like me who likes a lot of airflow through them by the drop. Apart from that, the flavor on them is pretty much the same, except the amount of airflow. I like a lot of air, and I can't get that out of a dead rabbit. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the drop. But if you like a more restrictive draw, then go for the dead rabbit. Um, dead rabbits, pretty yeah, it's 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 the sexier looking RDA than the two. Uh, this generic uh black and uh stainless steel yeah it just doesn't look as sexy as the as the the dead rabbit but yeah uh from a airflow by the drop from the um uh, uh restrictive draw get the dead rabbit so those are those two there out, out the way quickly um then you've released a whole lot of juices recently. Do you want to give us a run through on your, your new juices? I, I, we got the new, the jelly bean one, but I haven't even had a chance to taste it. So I think why don't you run through your juices and then the, the new ones and what they're about and how you came about doing them. And yeah, let's have the guys can hear that. All right, cool. First, I just want to check. Um, there were some guys saying that my mic level is too loud. So I've turned it down a bit. How is it now? Just let me know how that's. I can just play with it here. So just give me some feedback in the chat. Um, so yeah, the, the idea behind the treats range was just to have something like at a kind of at a better price point. Um, so, you, you know, I, I guess a more budget sort of range, but like nice tasty stuff, hence the name treats. Um, so nothing too complicated or too fancy, but just tasty. Uh, and that really was the idea behind them. So yeah, so we've got four in the range at the moment. There's the peach pie, uh, which is like a peach pie cream and custard. Uh, the jelly bean crush, which is like 
a kind of handful of jelly bean sort of mixed up in into a, like a slushy and I, it's got a bit of iciness to it there's watermelon candy which i was going for like those watermelon chapa chaps like those watermelon suckers um and miami ice which is probably the most complex of the bunch which is like a whole kind of la different layers of fruits like pineapple and strawberry and lime and a little bit of ice and stuff like that so yeah there were things i've been working on in the background for for quite a while and is um, it, are these your own juices this has got nothing to do with diy or da no these these are all developed by myself um you know like i've learned a lot obviously from from hanging around like in the diy scene okay sorry i got a laugh yeah uh, Ahmed says you won't find hair in your Hardwick's juice. That's <laughs> <laughs> alright. Well, to to at, at least not uh, hair from from my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no. So these these are my my own kind of creations. We do have some stuff. Wayne and I do have some stuff in the works. Um, that yeah, it will it'll probably be coming up next year. It's going to be like a whole new line whole new range of stuff um, that's a sort of a collaboration between uh, Wayne and myself okay so that should be coming out at some point next year and then we got some I got some other flavors in the works as well there's potentially one more uh, flavor that's going to be added to to the treats range just to to round it off and bring it up to five um, we'll see yeah, I'm still kind of getting it right, and yeah, we'll see. But I like, yeah. So I'm working on a bunch of other stuff. I'm busy dripping my my ultramel recipe out of a a jag here. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I'm busy vaping you, at the moment. You, you alluded to to Wayne. Yeah, if you, I think the viewers would like to know. Maybe you know if you can just give us a little bit of information how you how the two of you guys got together. Um. Okay, so I guess it's probably about two years ago now. Um, I was just getting into mixing, and I found Wayne's stuff online and his videos, and kind of had mixed some of his recipes. So, and I thought, well, that, you know, I was wanting to get into the business, and I thought, you know, there's uh, instead of me putting out some kind of hacky second-rate stuff like. You know, let me go to someone that obviously knows what they're doing and do a joint venture with them, um, which I did. I reached out to Wayne, um, emailed him, and uh, yeah, we just started chatting. And then, you know, we we got on pretty well, and I guess we realized we could do business together. So, so that's how it started. Uh, Mr. Hardwicks was a in the beginning a, a joint venture between myself and Wayne. Um, which has just been a very interesting experiment because I guess if you're into DIY, a lot of people know the, some of these recipes are available online. Um, and it's been very interesting to see, like, from a business kind of point of view, how that works, like with an open source recipe that you can, in fact, commercialize it. Like, the hardest part was that... A lot of people sort of just cloned it, and they they took the recipes offline, you know, from online, and they they started their own businesses like locally, with those publicly available recipes, and that was a challenge. Um, yeah, I, know, remember, uh, I, I do remember there was a bit of a hoo ha in the community. There wasn't net nozzle. No, I don't think you were included, in, but there was a bit of a, a hoo ha in the community about uh, uh, yeah using using online recipes and then marketing it as your own. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, what, what has been cool is to see that, in fact, the community has supported, to some extent, has supported kind of mix it. Um, and like, uh, that's been very encouraging to kind of see that community will actually kind of call out people who are, are just really stealing recipes. Um, so it's, be, it's been an interesting journey. I mean, since, since then, obviously, a lot of the, the recipes... And the, the product that I have now, they're not public recipes. They're either my own recipes or the stuff I've done with Wayne or with other mixers, but they're not kind of publicly available. And I have to be honest, it, it does take a lot of stress out of my life. 
yeah. like having to kind of try and police that stuff and always, you know, like worry that someone's kind of cloning my product or whatever. Um, because I guess the way I decided to do it was just to be upfront and, and go straight to the mixer and say, you know, like, let me pay you for, for your work. Like, yeah. it's, it's a partnership thing. And like long term, obviously, that's really worked in my benefit. But it, yeah, like I say, it's been interesting. It's been a, an interesting um, experiment uh, in in the business. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, so Wayne and I basically just been friends ever since. And you know, we brought him out recently for VapeCon. Um, yeah, and, I, I watched yeah. his I watched his South Africa video, and he was he was uh, yeah, it looked like uh, it, it, there were a couple of guys that made a couple of negative comments about it uh, in the community, but in, in general, it looked like that he actually had quite a bit of fun. Yeah, he definitely had a good time. Um, yeah, look, you're always going to get some negative stuff or whatever, but I think overall, it's, uh, you know, he had a good time, and I think most people got on pretty well with him, people that he met. And I, um, I got him uh, your RDA, the, the Ubuntu, gave oh, yeah. it to him, um, so he did his little mini review of that. Um, well, I saw, but, yeah. I, uh, just on that note, yeah, I saw it. Still, he's still using it in his arsenal. He posted a photograph a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, and there in the background was the, I can't remember what it was on. It was what device it was on, but he was still using it. So that's obviously nice to know. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it is still in his rotation there. So yeah, um, so yeah, as I say, we still got some kind of ongoing pro projects and. Next year we're doing something which is pretty cool. I'm not I'm just I can't really say too much about it, but it's something we've been planning for quite a while. Um, so we're busy with that, and yeah, so that's that's really I guess how I got started. Um, you know, and then over the last two years, I've obviously learned a hell of a lot about mixing and and all of that kind of stuff, and I'm still active um, in in that whole DIY community. And mixing is something that's very much part of like my daily activity. Like I mix some recipe every day. Um, I mean, most of the time it just turns out to be garbage, but <laughs> I do yeah. mix, um, I do kind of mix every day. I'm trying some new stuff out and whatever. Yeah, there was so, a question a little bit early on, um, uh, any advice that you can give to a budding DIYer? Sure. Well, what I've kind of learned, I guess, is that it's just, it's like anything else. You just have to practice. Um, just like anything else, you have to put in the time and you have to practice. And, you know, maybe you've got some natural gifts and natural talents, um, but even then you're still going to have to put the work in. I mean, I definitely sucked for at least a year. I was like a pretty shit mixer for at least a year. And then I started getting a feel for it. I think for some people that learning curve is shorter and for some it's longer. For me it was quite long. Um, but yeah, I would say the main thing and probably the best thing you can do for yourself is single flavor testing. Um, because I would, uh, I, would, I would agree with you yeah. there 100%. Yeah. Um, and then start, then you know, do the single flavors and perfect that and then start doing the mixes. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, because until you know what each component tastes like, like you have no idea what it's doing in the mix. So yeah, I would say just keep practicing and do your single flavor testing. Um, I just saw someone like I don't know if they missed earlier asking about if treats was if Wayne was involved in treats and uh, no, he wasn't. It's these, these are all my uh, recipes and it's all, it's all my line. Um, but uh, like I said, I have been practicing quite a lot, so I think they're pretty good. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's it's like okay, I've got a couple of ranges out now, but it's it's um, uh, I know that my first range, the Fogs, which we've just redone now, uh, I've taken some out and uh, added some more. Uh, Milky Way was yes, I, I'd love to know what version that was on and how many. <laughs> and I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking ten, twenty, maybe thirty liters of juice. I <laughs> threw down the, the, the pipes because it just wasn't right. It just, it's one of those things that just takes time, time, time. Yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the things, I, I'm trying to remember who told it. I think it was actually Duncan from Vape Cartel. Duncan Willis from Vape Cartel 
when I said to him, look, you know, because he's a mixer as well, and I said to him, look, give yeah. me some advice. And one of the things, because I like my desserts, I like my desserts and I like my uh, uh, bakery type of stuff. And my wife was funny enough a baker. So um, uh, uh, I started off on that. You know, I don't like eating a lot of desserts, but I really like baking a lot of desserts. And he said to me, one thing is, vape it like you're going to eat it. <laughs> So I actually, that's what I went and did. I'm not joking. I actually went and got my wife's uh, recipe book. And I said, okay, I like cinnamon Danish. So what's in a cinnamon Danish? So I opened up the book. In those days, I was still buying concentrates. I'm going many, many moons ago. I was still buying concentrates from Sky Blue. And I said, okay, open a recipe. This is what's in a cinnamon Danish. And I ordered those concentrates. Probably about version like 20, I finally came up with uh, um, uh, uh, Delhi Express, which is a cinnamon Danish. Um, and it's yeah. still one of my favorite juices that I've ever made. Um, but, you know, that's a bit of advice that if you are the desserty type person, look at it. It, it doesn't always uh, uh, translate into the juice because it's in such small percentages that you might have to like cinnamon, for example. Cinnamon's a really, really, really strong um, depending on which cinnamon or what, what brand you're using, but cinnamons are quite a strong concentrate. And, uh, but if you like a lemon meringue, go get a lemon meringue recipe and break it down into its components and make it up from there. See how it goes. That's the way I did it. Obviously now, three, four years into mixing, um, I've, I know every concentrate backwards. I know if it's, uh, you know, what percentage to add. And, so, and that's, that comes with just sharing that. You can't, unfortunately, relay to people because it's, you can tell them it's a strong concentrate or a, um, a weak concentrate, so you need to up your percentage on that. But it's, yeah, it's, uh, something, that's something that you have to learn. And that's where, like Joel said earlier on, is that mix single flavors. Mix your pastry. Mix your... It's just a straight vanilla custard or uh, or even what brown sugar tastes like or, you know, and then you can start adding the different layers. And uh, uh, I think uh, actually Wayne did a quite a good video about the layering, the different layering um, on his yeah. channel a while back. Uh, That's also a, just to add to like beginner advice, you know, go check out the DIY or Dia channel. There's uh, tons of, of useful information on there. And also, um, if I can get someone to just generate a link for me uh, yeah. for the Discord, we have a we have like a DIY community um, mm. on a Discord server. So if you really if you're interested in DIY, you want to just come hang out. Like everyone's there. Wayne is there. Skittles is there. Uh, Shindo is there. Shindo is in the chat here. Shindo is. Uh, kind of done some really amazing work lately. I don't know, maybe you guys have seen his mango sticky rice pudding recipe, which is just fantastic. But all the all the mixers are there, ID10, T's there, etc. So if you want to just come just hang out, um, Joel, I'll post put the, it. Put the link in the, in, in, the um, in, my, in the Skype and then I'll add it. Okay, cool, I'll do that. Yeah, um, I just got to minimize that there now. Otherwise. Just going to get someone to generate it for me. Um, so what's going on there now? seeing things that I shouldn't see full screen all right ah man I've done something stupid now you're gonna disappear how do you get rid of the writing on the bottom of Skype that's what I don't understand uh, what's going on here let me just just disable this quickly and enable it again yeah okay okay I got the link so you can oh, just uh, post post okay. that in the chat. Um, okay, yeah, thanks, John. Sent me a sent me a link. So yeah, I mean, if you're just if you're into DIY, um, just you know, come join the Discord. Also, there's a whole bunch of other channels, just general gear talk, and you know, all, all kinds of other stuff. Um, so yeah. yeah. It's yeah, probably the best resource for DIY at the moment is is the Discord. So come hang out there. I'm posting Plus, there's the always link people to answer your questions. There, I posted the link for you guys if you want to go and join that. There, that's all right, cool. cool. Ah, yeah, Got a couple of invites there. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, on that note, there, while he's been talking about his juices. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of ranges and stuff like that. And like uh, Joel alluded to earlier on about having a slightly more budget type of juice, but where it's a still a quality juice. Um, 
uh, we decided we might as well jump on the bandwagon because I've got uh, at last tick I was busy cleaning up my recipes I've got like close to a thousand recipes that I'm still busy working on um, I used to come out with juices on a regular basis but with the opening of the survey shop the new shop and a couple of other things I just haven't been been active with it but uh, we're launching a new juice this weekend uh, it's called pink eye okay um, let me just try and zoom in on that there uh, it's a hundred ml juice okay it's a strawberry taffy okay um, uh, I don't know if you've ever been in Woolworths they get those little strawberry hearts that uh, it's like a taffy uh, that's a, a strawberry taffy it's one of my old recipes that I bought out of the the um, the at what what's what, what right word I'm thinking of here now um, bought it out of the, the to, swept off the cobwebs upgraded it slightly and yeah so it's going to be it is going to be in a budget range 100 ml bottle 250 rand um, uh, it is a highly complex juice so it, it's not it's a cheap juice but it's also a highly complex juice so that's launching uh, at uh, our shop this weekend and next week it'll be available countrywide so look out for that that's that one just for those who might have just joined um, the we use a night pot to do a random draw so somewhere uh, if you've already done it don't have to do it again but uh, uh, if you've used you need to use the word hardwicks somewhere tonight so that you can uh, be eligible for the prize uh, Joel's given up some of his juices on the new range um, towards the prize we've got a because we reached a thousand uh, subscribers I'm giving away a Minikin Reborn and then a hundred more bottle of pink eye which hasn't been released which will be the prize which I'll give away a little bit later on so Joel if you're stranded on a deserted island what is the only juice and you can have as much many liters of it as possible <laughs> and it can't be your own juice which is and it has to be a South African juice which is the juice that you take with you oh no it can't be my own can't be your own so so I can't I can't like use the milk excuse nah, because can't use, the, can't use the milk excuse neither ah damn it okay um that's a tough question eh? because i go through a lot of phases um they're probably quite left field but like if, if it's i would say top two it would probably be uh triple x or um, complex Chaos's Mellow Shake, which like I don't see around very much, but like that is a fantastic juice. Yeah, no, no, I enjoyed Mellow Shake. Eh? I enjoyed yeah. Mellow Shake as well. Uh, yeah, I didn't think you would say Triple X. <laughs> well, I think Triple X, like I just, you know, I probably just wouldn't get tired of it. I guess I'd be able to just, you know, it's just yeah. got that ABV thing. Like you can just vape yeah. at any time. Rob, you know? Rob, Rob's like in seventh heaven here that someone said triple X. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I have to say that, that no, I, I think I, I didn't, I never thought that you would say that, but thinking about it yeah. now, it's, it is something that you could, you can vape the entire day or like Mr. Yeah. does, he buys it by like one and a half liters for a week. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then look, I feel like I kind of, I have to probably, I would also chuck in um, NCV Frozen because it's, it's kind of in a similar vibe to, to, to Triple X. It's just a bit more deserty maybe. But yeah, if I had to choose, it would be between those three and I'd probably do some kind of a twin class, um, <laughs> coin class or something to choose. But okay. yeah, I could live with those. Mm, okay. And mod? Uh, mod, I would stick with my Hexome. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is now. Okay, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Let me just just check out any any questions. Uh, I'm busy holding up something in my hand, here, which I'm not going to show you, but this is a project that uh, myself and uh, or Sir Vape and Bearded Viking are working on, which is going to be launching at our birthday. Um, uh, not going to allude to it anymore, but it's uh, it is a squonker. But I'm not going to tell you much more about it. So yeah, that's coming uh, on our birthday, which is not this weekend. The following weekend, we're having a big ba big bash at our, our place. So yeah, if you're in Durban, please pull in. Just obviously, um, this weekend is 
Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and just sheer panic for any vendor. Okay, um, uh, we have got Black Friday specials. I like every other vendor's got Black Friday specials. Uh, ours will, should be going out tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow afternoon we'll send our list out. Uh, there is quite a bit of stuff there, okay, and it will obviously run the entire weekend. Um, I see Hugo did pop out our itinerary for the weekend. Um, are you there still, John? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. No, you, you were frozen on the screen with a big okay. grin on your face, but now you've come back there now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's guy just took a big hit of Triple X. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this weekend um, uh, is obviously Black Friday. We are open from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock on Friday. We open for, on Saturday from uh, 10 until 3. Uh, and on Sunday, we've got uh, Coil Company, Mr. Rion in our shop. And some lucky guy in the shop is going to win a year's worth of coils. So you better pull in on the shop on, 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 um, on uh, a Sunday. We've got obviously the launch of Pink Eye. And we've got some other launches of uh, one of Sick Boy's juices and one of Cosmic Drops' new juices. I can't remember off the top of my head uh, that are launching in the shop over the weekend. So yeah, pull in. It's going to be a lucky weekend. Uh, and then the weekend thereafter, we've got um, um, our birthday bash and we'll release more information on regarding our birthday bash. Um, uh, yeah, from that point. Let's see. Anybody got any questions for... Mr. Hardwick or myself. Okay, well, I saw a question here from Ruan Van Royen. He says, how did you come up with the, the Mr. Hardwick's name? Um, so actually, just the first disclaimer is my wife actually came up with the name. And uh, we called the first, our first release was the Donuts. Debbie does Donuts, which is named after obviously like a pretty well-known <laughs> film. Uh, from from the the eighties, so one of the one of the characters in that film was called Mr. Hardwick, so that's where the name came from. And like I said, that was my wife's idea, but I liked it, so we we stuck. We went with that. That's quite a. I, I never knew that. So yeah, that's quite <laughs> a quite a quite an interesting thing. That yeah. Never so, watched the movie. Never watched the movie. But yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> no, no, seriously, never watched the movie. Heard about it, but yeah, uh, never watched, never watched the movie. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to pick some more. I, I, I did, I did, and it, it, it was by accident, really. Um. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did watch it by accident. I haven't seen the Italian Stallion, but I, I have seen David as Dallas. Um. And I think I was about 12 when I saw it. I was in a hotel. I was in the States. I went to the States with my uncle. And he left me alone in the hotel room one night. He went out. And um, I guess he didn't know. And I certainly didn't know that there was like a porn channel. So I'm busy like flipping through through American TV channels. Very exciting. And then like, a, you know, all of a sudden it's David as Dallas. I was like 12. And it's... Uh, it was pretty shocking. I'd never seen, never seen anything like that. It was, it was pretty like mind blowing. Wow. So if you don't mind me asking, how old do you know? I'm forty something. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, forty four. Okay. Think forty four. Yeah, something okay, like so that. I'm still older than you. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, well, I how old are you? Forty. I just turned forty seven yesterday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty. It yeah. does makes no difference, really. Yeah, exactly. You're only as old as the woman you're feeling, and thank God my wife's <laughs> forty. <laughs> Yeah, in you know, my case, you're only as old as the porno you remember from the <laughs> 80s. <laughs> yeah, but those days, coming from a conservative South Africa, you were like, uh, yeah, a bit shocked. Yeah, I was completely shocked. I mean, I'd never seen even any like nudity in films or anything. So that was like, like a real shocker for me. Just sorry, I got a question here. Peter Neil Kruger, does the Ubuntu come with a squonk pin? Yes, it does. There is a squonk pin that comes in the, in the little plastic packet. If you haven't got one in your packet, just contact me on the survey page um, and then I will um, uh, organize for you to get one or get one to you. Just on that note, I got banned from Facebook today. <sighs> okay. Um, unfortunately, they, I think someone reported me as um, um, spamming and I was doing my daily hand checks. So yeah, I'm banned from using Facebook. I have got a different account that I'm using.
but I'm banned from Facebook. Uh, you can send me questions and stuff like that on Facebook, but I can't answer them. Uh, they won't allow me to do anything on it. So yeah, not even my own personal page. So yeah, fuck you, f Facebook. Um, but uh, nevertheless, also for those who have not joined already, um, uh, we started off a survey community page and I'll, I'll give you a bit of reason behind that. A lot of people actually don't know the analytics and stuff that happens on, a, on, on in Facebook that as a business, if you're using Facebook, um, probably uh, as a normal page, probably only 5% of your followers actually get to see what you do. Okay. And that's purely because there are more pages than there are groups on Facebook. And it's, it's a lot, lot more analytics and a lot more things behind the scenes. But uh, the reason why we open up the community pages is because we can really get as much information out to you as possible on a community page and everybody gets it. So we have got the survey community page. It's also going to be, <coughs> excuse me, there comes the cough. <coughs> it's also going to be easier for us to communicate with you. We can do polls. And really, in essence, the survey community page, you'll be treated differently than uh, on the community group. You'll be treated differently than on the survey page. Purely, we'll be giving special offers there uh, in that page that we won't be giving to the public. So it is a, a reason to join it. So if you haven't joined the survey community page yet, please look for it um, uh, and, and join it. Um, obviously, we don't want spammers and stuff like that. So we have blocked off a lot of things that you can't do on that group. But yeah, just join that group. Um, uh, it's available to anybody, whether you are an existing vape shop owner or a, a child from Hardwick's or whatever. It just makes our life a little bit easier in a community type of setup that rather than an open page to communicate with you guys and to, to, to spread what we've got to give you. Um, but yeah, that's the reason behind the community page. No, no other reason than that. Uh, it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, yeah. Uh, just checking uh, any other questions. Yep, I don't really see anything else question wise. Yeah, I didn't see any other questions there. Any, uh, okay, what, 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 what came new in the shop? It's not going to be a long show because also I'm battling with my flu here tonight, so it's going to be a fairly quickish show. But uh, what's came uh, in the shop new, we've got a whole lot of new international juices that arrived which I haven't had a chance to play with yet. There's two devices, or actually three devices, that I've got that the things that I'm going to be playing with tomorrow, and I'll do a quick review in the shop on them. Uh, one is the Mesh 24mm RTA. So it's an RTA that takes mesh. Okay. Um, the the um, Mesh RDA was, for my opinion, actually quite a successful thing for, for people who are new to building coils and stuff, because it's, it's really simple to do. All you need to do is tighten four screws. You don't need to windy, windy anything. So I'm going to have a look at that and, and, and give you my honest feedback on that tomorrow. And then one thing I'm really excited about is the uh, RevTech. Um, um, uh, man, what's going on here, man? Why is it doing what it's, it's doing? Um, is the RevTech uh, GTS 230 watt uh, TC box mod. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning uh, looking mod. Um, you know, it's, it looks like a Bugatti Veyron of mods. Just the, the actually the lines and everything is absolutely amazing. And then everybody's been raving. About, I, we've had them in the shop for a while, and evenly, we I didn't even know that we had them in the shop, and it's really bad for me. I apologize profusely. Um, was the Zeus RTA by Geek Vape, uh, <clears throat> and everybody's raving about them, but I actually I didn't even know we had them. So I really apologize with that. Um, with me being off work from flu. Um, are you squonking? Are you putting juice? <laughs> you got your juice in there. Okay. No, I didn't. I thought you were joking early on. You being, you, you've got your juice in the in the in the mixing jug. Yeah, um, I'm not kidding. I am just dripping straight out of a jug. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, obviously, then uh, um, from Hardwick's, the Jelly Bean Crush is the new juice that we've got in locally. Um, so yeah, I have a. Have a look at that. Um, uh, I think that's it. I think we've got a whole lot of stuff arriving tomorrow. And uh, obviously our last orders will come in and last new stuff will come in for the year, probably early next week. And then that's it for the, I think for the year, uh, because we're hitting silly season now and uh, trying to deal with customs is like, yeah, like trying to pull blood out of a stone. Um, but yeah, um, uh, that's what's in the shop. Obviously look out 
for, I'm not going to show you, but for those uh, Squonka fanatics, I've got my, keep your eye out on what's happening. Our, our brand, one of our brands, our Hard Eaters Alliance, in, 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 in conjunction with um, Viking Vapes, it's got a sexy little um, Squonka coming. I have told you to Squonka, that's fine. But yeah, okay guys, <coughs> let's do this. Uh, so Joel's gonna disappear here and I quickly for, for a few seconds while I do the night watch, just remember the prizes that we've got is a 100 ml bottle of pink eye. Um, so there's four bottles from Joel, 30 ml, it's a, that's a, what, what size bottles are they? They're 50 ml. 50 ml, 50 ml bottles, one of each of the range in, I would assume three milligram, okay? And then the Minikin Reborn, obviously, because we hit, I said to you guys, I'd give away a mod. Um, uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers and we've gone over a thousand subscribers we say thank you very 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 much just want to quickly is it necessary to steep a bottle of juice after her? just 18 asks a question quickly Joel or Craig is it necessary to steep a bottle of juice once you've received it from a shop I'll answer that question okay <clears throat> there's two different there's two different types of mixes okay you get the uh, and it's more the Americans, American uh, mass produced type of mixes where they, they will mix today, it gets bottled today and they say it must sit on your shelf and, and steep and then you get the old school mixes that let it steep in their, in their premises or in their shops. Um, I don't know how Joel does his but we are, some of my juices sit for three months before they go, go to get bottle, bottling so yeah. it really comes down to the juice. Yeah, we steep, we, everything that needs to be steep is steep before it gets yeah. sent out. Yeah, uh, it is the better way to do it because then otherwise you don't. Uh, do okay, you lost internet connection there, Joel. Okay, but yeah, it's Hello. Come, it's, yeah, it's come back now. It came back now. Okay, so okay. Uh, I'm going to do the, the night watch now. Just lucky draw. Joel's going to disappear. Okay, so everybody has used the word uh, hardwicks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do it on roll three, okay, so if you, uh, any of the person who on the third attempt at hitting the rolling button, that will be the lucky winner, okay. Uh, I've given up with the scenario of if you've won in the last four weeks, because it's random, I can't take anything, yeah, it's random. If you've won in the last four weeks, you can win a game, I don't have a problem with that, because um, this is out of my control. Okay, so I've got everybody who said Hardwicks is now in the, in the draw. Or you can see, oopsie, I'm pull, pushing the wrong buttons here. I remember I must go to the other screen. There's all the names of people who have been used the word Hardwicks. Uh, we have got 93 people that are in the in the mix for tonight, and you can see Hardwicks is there. And this is the first roll. So roll one. Okay. Roll two. And roll three will be the winner. Risty, if Risty can please get hold of me on our survey page. Let me just get rid of this lucky drawer, just hold on. Risty, if you can please get hold of me um, on the my uh, survey page. I need your full name. I need your physical address and I need your cell phone number and postal code. Uh, I'll organize, I'll just take it off the shelf, Joel. Okay. I'll put it. Okay, cool. Together. I'll just replace it for yeah, you. I'll just take it off the shelf and send it all one time to you. So Risty, if you can please PM me on our survey page on either the community page or the um, uh, normal survey page, I'll get that stuff out to you. Yeah, Mr. Hardwick, thank you very much for being on the show. It is going to Pleasure, be a man. One, Thanks for it's, having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, um, this, as I said, it is going to be a shortish one because I'm not feeling 100% lackers and I need to. I think I need to go and hit the hit the the sack tonight. Um, cool, but, man. Uh, thank well, you I hope much. you feel better. Oh no, me too. Uh, I hate flu. Really. It's one of the things I really, really, really detest. Yeah, it's flu. the worst. Yeah. So, guys, thank you very, very much uh, uh, for watching. Thank you very, very much again for getting us to a thousand subscribers. Um, eh, epic, epic. Um, yeah, see you around next week. Don't forget, next week is Coil Company uh, from Rion. Um, don't forget to look at our survey community page because it's going to tell you what's happening, happening, happening um, with us. And yeah, next week is 
Next week is Coil Company, and then the week after that, I've got uh, Ian uh, on the show, I think it is. Yeah, I've got Ian on the show. Yeah, got Ian, Ian's there after, and then I've got Rob Fisher there after that, so that's going to be a good one. I'm going to grill Mr. Fisher big time on that show. Yeah, Rob, get a haircut. Yeah, he needs a haircut and a couple other things, yeah. But guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks, Joel, for, for um, taking part. Uh, nice thank you, man. Thanks. Cool. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Bye. Bye.